I feel like I'm there. This is really awkward. <laughs> Hello, my loves. It is time for episode two of season four of Killing Eve. It is called Don't Get Eaten. There was so much to discuss about the first episode of this new season. I got so many good comments. It was actually impossible to choose one. I had like several that I wanted to read, but then I realized it, I would just sit here discussing for like 20 minutes before even starting the video. So just go, if you haven't been part of that conversation yet, go check out the comment thread below the first episode. But just know that I have a lot of opinions, a lot of things were said, a lot of great comments were shared, and if you have not been part of that discussion yet, you should definitely go ahead and join. We are all very passionate around here about this show. Let's get into it. In the name of Villa Jesus, amen. Someone has been hunting down and killing members of the Twelves. That means they know a damn sight more than we do. I was so annoyed with so many things about no, this first true. episode that I forgot all about the whole, like, there's someone hunting down and killing and torturing the Twelve. That's okay. I'm wiping away the annoyance from last episode and I'm going into this with an open mind. Yes. Helene, by the way. Helene is her name. Have you got the tracker? Yes. Don't lose her. I can't even enjoy how amazing she looks because I just don't like her. Please don't hurt this little butterfly. In John 11.35, Jesus wept. How is this Why still a thing, wait? though? Clue, it's not because he coached Brad Why would she not it? have told because anybody that like Villanelle tried to kill her? Like, as much as I love Villanelle, why are these people okay, still letting her be there? <laughs> there shall be more joy in heaven over one sinner that repents than over 99 righteous persons that need no repentance. Book, chapter 15. <laughs> He wants you gone. He knows something happened between you and the daughter. He just doesn't know what. What are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? I'm here to guide you, remember? I'm your spiritual guru. Come. You want to know why I look and sound like you? Come. Come. Everyone experiences me differently. I appear to some as an angel. To some as a voice in the clouds, to some as a burning bush. But for you, I'm you in drag. Does that make sense? Yes. Make things right with the daughter and the vicar will follow. Go on. Go get them, tiger. I know you're scared of me. You tried to kill me. Yet you're still alive. What does that matter? You tried to drown me, but it's fine because you didn't finish the job. It matters, okay? You don't understand. You're the one that hasn't told anyone. I'm a bad person. <laughs> I just. You know, when one person so thinks weird. You're evil, everyone else starts to think it. And after a while, you start to believe it yourself. That's why it matters that you're still alive. It's working. I'm getting better. And it's all thanks to being around people like you. <laughs> Jody's still a great actor, you know, even though, even when they give her shit to deal with. Pack your bags, baby. I'm taking you to Paris. I'm really starting to feel, you know. Whoa, what are you doing? I told you before this even started no overnight stays, no presents, no mini breaks. I'm no. joking, Jesus. Helen lives in Chaume de Mars. It's in Paris. Why didn't you just say that? Mm -hmm. Why'd you have to it's... rip something up all impulsively? <laughs> See? So I'm thinking we spend a couple of days doing reconnaissance. We can stick out the house, we can track her movements, we can get a real sense of how she operates on the ground. Or I could just knock on the front door. Or you could just knock on the front door, yeah. Why didn't I think of that? You know, you really were so... wasted behind that desk at MI5. <laughs> I'm just trying to inject a little know-how into your revenge. Well, what if your know-how isn't the only know-how worth knowing? You know what you are. They're like one of those people, they adopt a lion cub, and they're like, oh no, we have a connection. You never hurt me. And then, rips their stupid head off. You talking about Villanelle? Eve stabbed her first. Okay, I know Villanelle killed Bill, like she was the scary one first, but when it comes to them and their relationship, Eve stabbed 
stabbed Villanelle first. Eve is the lion cub. <laughs> And I mentioned this in one of my comments in the you, on the other video, but I get that Villanelle is dangerous, but it the idea of Eve being scared of her angers me because Villanelle has literally never been trustworthy for anyone but Eve. The fact that she was unwilling to hurt Nico was huge. Yes, she still hurt Gemma. Like, I'm not saying she's perfect, but... She has demonstrated time and time again that she is unwilling to hurt Eve. Yes, she did shoot her, so maybe I should just shut up. But, like, I just don't think it's as simple as Villanelle is the lion cub and Eve needs to be careful of her. You know, it's not that simple. I want to show you something. Won't your dad be angry? Probably. Does she still want Villanelle? Because if that's the case, then it's understandable why she's not angry. You're going to kill me now? No. Villanelle can There's try to kill me any day. Coiled up in here, and it's stopping you from being who you want to be. There's only one way to uncoil it. Sex in the woods. Oh, okay. She's totally into you again. <laughs> Do you want to spin with me? It's a little juvenile for me. Are you kidding? Of course I do. Jody is the only reason why this isn't done, though. This is for oh. meeting me last minute. Thank you. I can't take alcohol into a secure unit. So what did you want to ask me? I've got five minutes until my cannibal. How do you get what you want? My cannibal? You, you mean my patients? Yeah, but the really dangerous ones. Not the one who uh, wonders. E, what I want out of them is to help them. <laughs> oh, please, go on. See what I mean? Eve because, only uh, understands transactional transactional people relationships. People talk if they think they're getting something in return, work out what they want, and then give it to them, or appear to give it to them. A direct approach might work, but I wouldn't recommend it. If there's a problem, I have a personal alarm and, and, and two nurses and a decade of experience protecting me from them. Well, maybe I'm more of a them these days than I am a you. <laughs> Clearly. Thanks for your help. How is Villa now? Oh, <laughs> you know, she's a Christian now. Is that possible? Human beings like to believe in change. What do you think? I think reinvention is a form of avoidance. Don't get eaten. That's a powerful line. Reinvention is a form of avoidance. That would be a really interesting topic of conversation, just outside of this show's context. I'm sorry for this. Don't be. If I were in your position, I'd be hooking my nipples up to electrodes. I'd forgotten what an awful flirt you are. Shall we? She visits a sex club in Swindon once a month. Very good. Who was it? You are. Do we know who that she is? She visits a sex club in Swindon Maybe once a month. Maybe not yet. Very good. She has a birthmark, the shape of a donkey, on her left buttock. An ass on her ass. Anything else? She's also addicted to opiates. And the last one. This one is a self-serving egotist who thinks solely with his nether regions. He's primed for honey trapping. Oh, was he asking for info what on her you team? Want for now. I couldn't tell who the pictures case, were, so the just let me know. Access to whatever files I haven't seen, and an office that doesn't smell of dysentery. <laughs> We wouldn't even let you into the building, let alone give you an office. Is that right? You defected, Karim. To help you smoke out the 12, lad, like you've always wanted. Well, like I've always wanted. But now I want it slightly more because one of them ordered the death of my son. I hear what you're saying, but forgive me. People here don't like rats. It's for your safety more than anything. Once this new information comes good, we'll set you up with all the resources you need. 
He's such a hypocrite. He doesn't want me to be around you, but he's not so different himself. Me and him? The same? You think you've done some bad stuff, but... But what? He killed my mum. Uh, say that again? Yeah. He tells Please do. <laughs> Mary died in a car crash. But he leaves out the most important part. He was the one who was driving. Oh. He was the one who was drunk. Please, you can't tell anyone. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Am I Hitler? <laughs> <laughs> Who did this? That was so oh, cute. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now it's my turn to write one. Like how annoyed she was. It was so adorable. It's Bible themed. So you're going to love it! Yes! yes! <laughs> okay. Am I a man? No. 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 Am I alive? No. No. Am I a contemporary of Jesus? Yes. No. Yes. No, actually. Did I say Bible themed? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I meant Phil themed. Phil themed. <laughs> no. What are you doing? No, it's okay, May. It can be about me if that's what Nell wants. At least she's taking part. Is it someone I know? No. Oh, is she going dark no, again because she realizes that even like the best Christian has. You want a clue? Isn't perfect. She's realizing You're it's all killed on love. fake. <laughs> the answer is your dead wife, who you killed in a car crash when you were drunk. I feel like I'm there. This is really awkward. <laughs> Better luck next time. I'll get the sausages. That was not what we discussed. <laughs> that was not what we discussed. <laughs> Don't ever do something without running it past me again. Or I'll smite you! You know, if you hadn't called him out, I would have had to. No, oh, I can't have murderers as figures. I, you can't? I didn't mean you. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> You're not pretending to be perfect. They're going to love you to save them from the evil in their midst. How was the mother? Phil and what's her face are gone. <laughs> I knew you was bad inside. I saw it from the beginning. Oh, nobody cares what you think, Barbara. <laughs> nobody cares what you think, Did Barbara. Did you not see what happened? I, uh, I cast out a demon. He's not the demon. It's you who should go missing. Yes. Uh, why, why are you defending the vicar? He, he, he killed his wife and then he lied about it. Whatever he did, it's in the past. It's the man he is today we care about. Yes. 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 What about the woman I am now? Do you know how many times I've won Parishioner of the Week Award? Because you invented it. Yeah. There's a saying in my family, you can put a wig on shit, but it still stinks as shit. A rat for a rat. I was wrong. Please clean that. How many toilet breaks do you think you're going to need a day? Call back to, back to season one toilets. when Kenny asked her how many toilet you're paper squares she needed. You. I might not come out of this. I'm gonna give you four. There's some nervous poos. When we get there, I wanna have steak. Steak! I'm really not sure about this plan. You are not going to die. We are not even gonna go near her. This is just a recce. L'addition, <laughs> s'il vous plaît. Have you taken the steak knife? 
What? No, of course Show not. Show me a bag. Okay. You want to do it your way? You want to knock on that door without knowing what's on the other side? And you think that this is going to protect you? Well, it has before. Eve, you want to hunt down the 12. You want to kill the top brass. You want to die while doing it? You have my support 100%. But this way, you will die before you even get close. Let's get out of here. Monsieur, la lision. All right, thanks. I'll get it. Okay. We will split it. Would you... A present. <laughs> a present? Is it the rat? It had infiltrated my kitchen cupboard. Why is she living in that awful place? A little light intimidation. You know my people wouldn't be doing their jobs correctly without it. So has my information proved useful? Is she just staying there while she's doing this? Partially. Because she's got loads of money. Please tell me, how can someone be partially blackmailed? Well, the child with the floppy hair, she has fallen hard for his honey trap. Hugo? What are you keeping from me, Vlad? Don't try and outsmart me. You haven't got the neurons. Mm. That was the line. The woman with the ass on her ass. She was found dead about an hour ago. She hanged herself. Who? Who Fortunately, had... her children went there. Who had the ass on her ass? I feel like I should feel something about this, but I don't know who they're talking about. These things happen. Hmm. Drugs ruin lives. Hmm. God damn it, I hate being confused. Get this. Thank you. Actually, I've come to cook you dinner. But I'll take it. They better make Helene believably scary and intimidating. Because she told Villanelle that Villanelle wouldn't even get close to being able to kill her because she was a child compared to her. What are we having? So, shepherd's pie. She wouldn't have let Eve in the house unless she felt completely in control of the situation. I don't use applicator tampons. Never understood women who can't insert their own fingers into themselves. Oh, ass. Not every fucking time. Ooh, let me see. Hmm. I feel rude you cooking me dinner when I hardly know anything about you. Tell me about yourself. I like holidays, dogs, long walks on the beach. And? And I want to bring down the Twelve. I want to cut the head off the monster. That's wonderful. I like all of those things too. I guess what? I also want to get the head off the monster. Really? Amazing, isn't it? When you find someone you can really What are the chances? With. It's so rare. Eve is so lucky. But you're so, so why would you want to destroy them? So this is what you're into. Torturing your way to the Twelve. Picking them off one by one. I don't usually do the torture myself. Is this a special treat? So she's the one having them all tortured? Does it hurt? Only if I let it. How did she know to say that? Oh, duh, because she was watching when she was with her daughter. Okay. All right, all right. You don't have to do this. She was behind them with the wig. I forgot for a second. Who's at the top? What is it you want to do exactly? I'll tell you after dessert sometime. Oof. I really liked that scene with Helene holding her hand on the stove and all that. I still, I don't know, I just, 
I don't believe that a character like Helene is gonna let her into the apartment or into her house like that, especially with her daughter there and everything. Like, good look at me. No. No, I don't think anyone could love her. But I am intrigued, and I and I'm excited to see more of uh, Helene's backstory. And <laughs> Don't ever say Bonal's not lovable. There, there. <laughs> Come on. Don't hate yourself. You are the perfect little lamb. A shepherd like me couldn't de- <sighs> You really got me. No one else could have done it. I thought I could do it. No, baby. You didn't stand a chance. Hmm. Don't stop now. Huh? Come on! Finish the job! <laughs> Three suspected members of the trail have murdered so oh. far. No next time. Okay. I guys, it seems like a lot of you guys kind of enjoyed the whole Villa Jesus thing, so I was really trying to be open-minded about it. And I think that there were some moments where it was funny, and I think Jody did the best she could with it. But all in all, I just feel like it was a bad choice. And then that whole ending scene with her, like, kissing herself as Jesus, and then, like, like, what? Why? I... We shouldn't have to do all the mental gymnastics of, like, making all of that make sense and worth the time. I don't know. Like I said, I was going to try really hard not to be negative, so I feel bad, but at the same time, I just have to be honest that I feel like it was a waste of time. I am intrigued with Helene's character. I really hope they end up doing her justice because I think they've set her up to be a really interesting character. That scene with them in the kitchen, like, ah, oh, Helene could be such a good character. I'm still anxious to get more information on, like, what led... Eve and Villanelle to their current relationship dynamic and all that because we've had a lot of discussions in the comments about what could have happened and what they could be leading up to and all that. For instance, one theory that's been mentioned is that Eve could be mad at Villanelle because she finally accepted her darkness and then all of a sudden Villanelle is like trying to be better and maybe that was part of like the rift. And I think so far with what they've started to build up, that could potentially be the case. I think it's interesting, the idea of Villanelle trying to explore goodness and whether or not she is a bad or a good person or what that means and if she can be good and all of that. As far as things that I need your help understanding, help me understand what was going on with Carolyn's old team. I could not quite tell who was in those pictures. I know they mentioned Hugo, so that's why I'm guessing it was just asking questions about her team that she had put together, but which one was found dead, and do we potentially think that they didn't actually commit suicide, or did they commit suicide, or just let, let me know what's going on there. Also, when Vlad was talking about Hugo, he mentioned, uh, I think he said something about Hugo fell for the honey pot. so let me know what just what's going on with that whole situation, because I did get a little confused. But yeah, all in all, I mean, the Villa Jesus thing wasn't as bad as it could have been if it was literally any other character, but I do hope it's over with. I think it was a waste of time. I think I'm just feeling anxious for them to start, like, justifying all these weird decisions they're making instead of just, like, making more and more weird decisions because I'm, I'm struggling to trust the direction they're taking us in. So I need them to, I need them to earn a little bit of trust so I can enjoy this process. So let's discuss in the comments. If there's anything I'm forgetting from the episode, let me know. Let's chat. This is pretty much my first time actually having to, like, wait for an episode, even though it's only, you know, less than a week. This really is my first time having to wait. 
but now that we're caught up and I'm going to be limited to one episode a week, we can start getting caught up on movies, which means The Last Duel can finally happen. I'm really, really, really excited to start getting into more movies. I've gotten so many recommendations, but it's been like over the course of like weeks and months, so I'll probably do a post on my page at some point just to get your recommendations for movies again so that we can start working on those. So keep an eye out for that. And thank you for being here, my loves. It is an honor to spend this time with you. I love you all so much, and I will see you next time for episode three. See you later.